I joined SOS Security at invitation by the two principals of the company at the time, Mark and Kirk Jones. Their commission was to help build a security reseller, which was focused exclusively on security and focused maniacally on our customers. And we found over time that if we put the customer first, and if we develop solutions for them with their use cases and their requirements at the forefront, and then we map them into best of breed solutions on the backside, it's a win-win scenario. We build their security practices, we help them you know, secure their environments, and ultimately we win because we have customers which do business you know, year after year after year and grow relationships. SOS Security, by definition, is a security boutique. We deal in, in network security, traditional endpoint, consulting, advisory, the whole gamut of your traditional IT security requirements. With a company like Forsyth behind us, we have access now to the other traditional three lines of business within the data center, server, storage, and networking, uh, which means that whenever we run into situations where IT security naturally converges within those other lines of business, those other thought leader areas, we have the ability to reach out within our parent company, Foresight, and pull in best of breed engineering talent, architectures, consultants. Uh, there are effectively no areas within the modern data center that we cannot have very radical change and access to from a very wide uh, perspective as far as the conversation goes. Today, most companies are not prepared to defend against a true cyber attack. We see a shift in the last 12 to 24 months within thought leadership with our very progressive customers where they understand they're vulnerable, they understand that they're a target of attack and they're trying to close the loopholes and basically fix the dam. The still the majority though of the industry today does not really recognize the level and depth of problem which they're up against. Establishing the ROI for any security initiative has always been hard because we're dealing in a tangible, which is how do I protect, and an intangible, what is the potential loss. The conversation in the last two or three years has really shifted very heavily towards risk and using risk as a function of determining that ROI. A lot of this is driven by compliance. Some of it is just driven by good management tactics. But at the end of the day, trying to establish an ROI and it always takes a customer into a risk-based conversation to quantify risk and then to develop the ROI based on the security initiatives.